Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookwire, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookwire. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on my new Lodge pizza pans, and I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you again to everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into the video. Today I'm going to be making a couple of cheese pizzas on my Lodge pre-seasoned cast iron pizza pans. The one thing I like about these pans is they don't have a rim. Now you can use them for more than just pizza. Let me just take this little top off of it. Now these pans are fairly thin. They have these rings on the back. I'm thinking probably to help with the uh, heat retention. I just want to give a shout out there to Papa Murphy's Pizza on Rainbow Drive. I appreciate you guys for helping me out with the pizza dough. Let me pull the camera down so you can see what we're doing. Now I have two of these. Now with Papa Murphy's Pizza, you'll just, uh, if you buy it pre-topped, you'll just take the wrapper off, stick it in a oven that's preheated to 425 degrees, and 12 to 18 minutes you have a finished pizza. But I'm just going to do it this way. That's one. I wonder if I can just pull it straight off here. I believe so. Then we're going to add our marinara sauce. Now, if you like a lot of crust, you can hold back on the edge, but I like the flavor of the sauce all the way up to the edge. I like a lot of cheese. Got some finely shredded cheese for the beginning, and then I'm going to add some some more heavier shredded cheese near to the top. Okay. Now our oven is preheated to 425 degrees, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take one of these pans and I'm going to preheat it a little bit on my cooktop. And the other one, I'm just going to leave it cold like it is. And we're just going to make a little bit of a comparison there. And we'll have to mark one of these so we can tell them apart. So I'm going to put a little bit of marinara sauce on the top of one of my cheese pizzas so I can tell them apart. I'm going to preheat the one that has the marinara sauce on the top of it. Let me pull the camera down. We're going to preheat it, stick them in the oven, and we'll come back when they're done and we'll compare the difference. Okay, we have the one here with a blob. On it, and I'm going to preheat it until my pan is hot to the touch. We'll heat it kind of slow. So I got my little blob of marinara sauce right there to kind of mark that it's the one that's preheated. Our pan is preheated, so we're going to put both of them in the oven that has been preheated to 425 degrees. I'm going to let them cook for about six minutes, then I'm going to switch them around in the rack, let them go for another six minutes, then we'll bring them out and take a look. We'll see you in about 12 minutes. Okay, both of them look really nice. 
So we're going to take a piece, a little bit of a sliver. Okay. Now you can tell the one that was preheated is a little more crusty. I'll try to hold this up. Here is the one that was not preheated. It's crusty and it's done. Here's the one that was preheated. It's a little, little more crusty. Let's see. Very, very good. What I've learned about the Lodge pizza pans is they work great. They really do nice. They're cast iron. If you love cast iron, you will like these pizza pans. Before you use them to make a pizza, go ahead and put some olive oil down over your pan to keep it from sticking. Or if anything, spray some nonstick oven spray on the surface before you put your pizza dough down. Number two, go ahead and preheat your pan on the cooktop. Get it hot enough where you have to use oven mitts to pick it up and put it in your oven. And number three, go at least 15 minutes when you cook it, especially on a thick pizza. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I would like to share something with you really quickly. In Proverbs chapter 25, verse 11, it says, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold and pitchers of silver. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.